Welcome to 4 Love Studios. 4K3 is pronounced 4 Love. So if you love this channel, please like and subscribe and turn the bell notifications on because today I am starting my first episode on a tutorial series about music production. So you know what you're doing when you're producing music. Now, when I started trying to learn to music produce, I didn't know that I was actually going to have to become an audio engineer. And one of the first things I need to let you know is that if you want to get serious about music production, you're going to need to learn how to engineer audio and a little bit of computer science. So starting with computer science, you're going to need a computer. So it helps to know what components make up a good computer. When you pay for an expensive computer, why do you want to pay that and not just follow a salesman blindly because most of the time, they're just trying to sell you whatever they have in stock, not necessarily the best piece of gear for your music studio. So you want to produce music. What do you need to get started? So the first thing you're going to need is a computer. Ask yourself how to pick the right computer. Uh, first piece of knowledge here is going to be your processor power. So if you don't know anything about computers, the first thing you need to pick is the brains. How is the computer going to think? How many brains is it going to have? How smart is your computer going to be? Um, if you're on a budget, get at least an Intel i5. That's four brains or four cores. Um, that'll you know be enough to get started. It will have some limitations once you get better and start adding you know bigger sessions and more plugins and things like that. But it'll at least let you get started. Um, second runner up get an i7 four core uh, this would be enough this would be um, all you need to make some music i would say uh, around there you have the m1 as well i haven't used it myself it's you know pretty much one of the new chips that apple made um, and it should be good it should be good it's eight cores now i have the i9 so i probably i'm a little biased i may think that the i9 is better than the m1 just because um, they haven't really um, changed the, the MacBook Pros to the M1. They have the M2 Pro now and the M2 Max, which is probably a lot better than the i9. It's 12 cores. That may be overkill. But at the same time, you know, if you have 12 cores, it is future proof. You can use this piece of gear for many years to come. So that's pretty much how it goes. Get at least the i5 not get the i7 if not get the i9 or m1 m2 if you can't afford the m2 pro that'd be great m2 max then you're really uh, you know flexing um all right then the next piece of computer science knowledge you're going to need is to know about ram memory now the ram memory is more like the speed so the processor power computer chip is more like how many brains it has and how many different tasks the computer could do at once the ram memory is more like the iq of how fast you can get those tasks done so the ram memory is very important you're going to want at least a minimum of eight gigabytes i've seen people produce music with four um, but you know it's not a good time it'll get you started but you really need at least eight uh 16 24 32 the more the merrier you know how it goes all right let's talk about storage um, storage, you know, depending on how well you are with music production, how many plugins, how many tracks, you know, how um, complex your sessions are, uh, you know, this is where you need to pick your storage, how many plugins you have. Um, pretty much is all real estate on your computer. So uh, 256 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes. Uh, one, I, I would go with at least one terabyte or two terabytes if you can afford it. Um, you can always get an external hard drive. And regardless, you need to absolutely get a backup external hard drive or um, or a cloud service. <clears throat> the reason why I say that is because I know countless music producers who woke up one day, their hard drive crashed, and they lost hours, days, weeks of work of their favorite songs, projects that they were never able to get back. If your things are not backed up, if you don't have a cl uh, clone uh, external hard drive you shouldn't be going to sleep at night it's really that simple uh, especially if you have clients you do not want to mess around with your music other people's music you absolutely absolutely need to have an insurance external backup drive i definitely um, recommend lacy glyph or a cloud service now uh apple go look at um 
pretty much a MacBook Pro. Um, definitely 14, 16. Yeah, you just need the 10 core, bro. You just need the 10 core. Um, but definitely upgrade the uh, the gigabytes on there. Oh, so um, yeah, 32 is fine. Get at least a terabyte. All that. So you're looking at $2,600 for a real deal music production computer today, brand new from Apple. Um, but my recommendation is to go on eBay. Um, let's go to eBay, eBay.com. Mac, MacBook Pro i9, 32 gigabyte RAM. And look at that, see, 1,500. Uh, you got another one here, one terabyte, only 800, uh, $850. So, um, so this is probably the way. Now, when you buy from eBay, very important, like for example, let's click in here. Um, you're going to want to see who you're buying from. Hopefully it's like a certified dealer, you know, some sort of store. See, like these are Apple junkyard, um, 4,700 sold good feedback. You got their score right here. Um, this is very important because you don't want to buy a computer that has some sort of malware on it, something, you know, they is already hacked. But yeah, so this is this is a good place to buy from, for example. This is what it looks like. Um, you know, you can check out the seller. I'm not a robot. Yeah, so here you go. This is the guy, 100% positive feedback, bunch of followers, bunch of computers. This is a good plug. Um, so you can go with something like this, 850 bucks. If you're some kind of baller, you can get it straight from the factory for 2,600. Um, so that's my recommendation. Now check it out. If you actually are really on a budget and that's just way too much, let's put a i5, um, maybe 16 gigabyte RAM. You got one, um, 2019, 16, you know, that's 500 bucks. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, honestly, if I, if, you know, I would hope that it's cheaper. So here you go. Um, that's an i3 that, that may be a little too, too slow. Um, yeah, so you're talking 500, five, 550 bucks. Um, try the i7 32 gigabytes um, yeah I mean it looks like the i9 is gonna be the the best you know the biggest bank for your buck here again these deals all changed all the time just make sure you don't get scammed if the deal is too good to be true it probably is so um, you know just look at the like I showed you the the uh, profiles and stuff like that and uh and if not then ball out on apple.com the um the glyph hard drive actually yeah let me show you that so lacy to tv yeah so look you got one for 60 bucks here just so you can sleep at night get yourself a hard drive get yourself a hard drive get yourself a hard drive or a cloud service or something brand, but you, you really don't want to lose your, your project, your projects. So make sure you have insurance. All right, great. So that takes us to the next step. Now that you have your computer in order, all of that, you're going to need the program to actually make music on. And that is called the DAW. D A w for digital audio workstation the daw is the equivalent of a painter's canvas it's just a blank thing where you can put audio clips and virtual instruments and create music for my tutorials really 90 percent of the time i'm going to be on ableton live ableton live is the best 
DAW for music production, I think about 90% of producers agree. Um, now, if you can't spend the $449, which is the standard version, um, actually, you know what? I'll take you guys. So let me take you guys to the actual website so you can see. All right, here we go. So don't even think about the intro. Don't even waste your time. The uh, features are so limited that you really wouldn't be producing music. I don't even think you could save your projects. I wouldn't really know. I've never really used the intro, and neither should you. Um, now, the standard or the suite. I personally own the standard. I don't think there's a need for the suite. It's a lot of money and also it takes up a lot of storage or more storage rather, possibly not a lot compared to other plugins. Uh, but it's just more computer storage real estate that I don't really need. I'm not gonna be using 5,070 gigs of sounds by Ableton. Um, the only thing that I bought extra, which I'll talk about later was operator, uh, which was a hundred bucks. So uh, I really just don't need the suite. Um, but but maybe you do. Maybe you, you want all of that stuff. So it's up to you. Um, and you see there are limitations here. Like I said, 8 gigabyte RAM, i5. That's what I, I was talking about earlier. Um, so yeah, I think you should just get the standard unless you want to spend more money and get more stuff. If you're a fan of Ableton's you know, builds and stuff like that, I do use a lot of their presets. Um, their presets are awesome. So, I mean, the suite has to have some cool stuff in it, but I, I just, I just don't want to take up that much space in my computer. Um, so yeah, so there you have it 449 or 749. I do think that they have a student discount. If you're a student, you definitely should take advantage of that for any gear that you buy. Um, you get a huge discount. You get a huge, huge, uh, pass on life. If you're a music producer and you're in school. Um, so that's Ableton Live, 449 or 749. Um, if, if that's way too much money for you, you could go with FL Studio. It starts at, a, um, well actually it starts at $99, huh? Huh, yeah. No audio clips though, don't even waste your time. Bro, if you don't have, that's why I didn't put it in the slideshow. If you don't even have audio clips, you can't even put samples in there. Um, no audio recording, I mean, dude, like, no, just just don't even waste your time. So it starts at 200 bucks, goes all the way to 500. I highly doubt you need all of this stuff. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't used FL Studio for many years, but I would probably guess that their plugins and stuff are not the greatest. But their DAW is pretty cool, really user friendly. Um, I've seen a lot, a lot of cool stuff and a lot, a lot of good music comes out of FL Studio. So don't sleep on it. I mean, if you really don't want to spend double the price go with FL Studio now if you just don't have any money at all and you want to produce music GarageBand is free go ahead use GarageBand uh, I mean you might as well be playing with a digital harmonica but it'll get the job done so at least you'll be able to make some music I I don't think that anyone would take you seriously producing in GarageBand but I bet there has been some really cool music done in GarageBand so who cares? At the end of the day, it's just a canvas, but at least get Fruity Loops if you can, or FL Studio. Yeah. All right. Once you got your DAW, we're going to go to the virtual instruments. Why do you need virtual instruments? Well, because a painter is nothing with a blank canvas. You're going to need paint brushes. You're going to need paint, color, and this is it. This is, this is the paint. This is the color. This is the stuff. So um, the first thing I recommend is Splice. It's actually a monthly service, unfortunately. Um, it's not too expensive. It starts at $12.99. To be honest, that's really all you need. Um, and what they do is they're basically a repository or a library of sounds. Um, specifically, I use it for drums. And they have drums from your favorite artists and your favorite genres. So it's a huge, huge library that's up to date. Uh, quality quality samples you can go in there and preview them so uh, it's a very powerful tool that's really where I get all of my drums now and days I go into splice and there they are and sometimes they even tell me what key they're in the the loops and the samples tell you like the BPMs I mean splice is just awesome specifically for drums you get audio clips or samples 
and you can just drag and drop them into your DAW. I will show you guys that in a later tutorial. Um, so I definitely recommend Splice to get all of your drums. Um, that's 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 the go-to right there. All right, after you get your drums, depending on what genre you're making, you're probably going to need some sort of leads or basses or bass lines or um, you know really cool gnarly hard sounds. Um, for that, the industry standard is Serum. Uh, and this is what it looks like right here. This is a picture of Serum. It's a synthesizer. Uh, you basically can go in there and mess the sound waves up and make some really cool digital sounds. Uh, it's $189. Um, it's just one plugin, so it's it's not cheap. But um, apparently there is a uh, another option, which is called Vital Synth. And, and supposedly it's a synthesizer very alike to Serum and um and it's free so i've never used it but check it out i've heard good things um let me move my face out of here yeah somewhat hopefully we didn't mess nothing up too much all right now this is what i was uh talking about operator um operator is great for sub bases um, that's where i get all my sub lines uh, unless i'm using like 808s or something i may get them from splice but um uh, but my bass lines my subs um, operator is incredible they, it can really make some crazy crazy sounds it's pretty much the same synthesizer uh, but for me the hundred dollars was definitely worth it now that you have your drums and you have your synths you have your bass lines your sub you're gonna need some ambient sound some sort of instruments to kind of build around um, what you made uh, you know some some ear candy and and some ambience and to make some sort of environment out of your songs let me put my face back bum, bum, bum. there you go um, so I recommend one of these two things and they're expensive because they're co they come with a lot a lot a lot of gigabytes of sounds and instruments and libraries so um, I mean you buy either one of these and you're going to have many many plugins that it comes with different styles different sounds um, Omnisphere is $479. <clears throat> I don't have it. I actually opted for uh, Native Instruments Complete Ultimate ki Kit. Um, and they range. They range from $599 to $1,199. This is Omnisphere, by the way. And um, so you can see all of the synthesizers that it brings. It brings all of these Rollins. They're uh, made from from uh, back in the day uh, keyboards, you know, the Dave Smith Prophet 8 is very, very famous. The Moog, of course. Um, yeah, the Moog Voyager is world famous. MS-2000. Um, so all of these are, are great. Um, I have some of these actually from... Um, from the Antoria, Un um, what is it, Artoria? Yeah, the Artoria has some of these. The Juno, for example, is very well known. Yeah, so Native Instruments is very, very pricey. But, um, I mean, we're talking, it brings so much stuff. And and you can get the standard, too. The standard's, like I said, 599 You don't necessarily need the whole Ultimate. Yeah, and and the thing with the with the ultimate compared to the Omnisphere, the Omnisphere has a lot more like uh, digital space, you know, other planet kind of sounds. Um, Native Instruments has more like guitars, and it, it still has those space sounds and stuff. But uh, you know, you you'll get pianos and strings and uh, things from Asia, and and so so for me, um, the complete ultimate was my pick. Um, you know, if computers had 10 terabyte storage and it was free maybe I'll get both <laughs> but uh, believe it or not we're still very limited technology wise um, all right so that's pretty much covers it to recap uh, pretty much you're going to need is computer with a good computer chip some good RAM storage you're going to need a DAW, preferably Ableton. If not, go with FL Studio. Try not to get GarageBand, although, it, you know, it's free. Virtual Instruments, get at least Splice so you can get some nice drums. Try to see if you can get Serum. 
uh, if not get vital synth just to start off uh, and I think even if you don't get these at least you know you'll start learning Ableton you can make ambient sounds with serum if you get good at it you can really make any sound you want you can even make drums with it um, there are other options there are many many other options even with the DAWs I mean you can get Logic some people use Pro Tools I wouldn't recommend it for music production but if you're recording and you can afford it uh, definitely go for it um, yeah and there's many 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 plugins some are cheaper than others but um, but just with anything in life you you get what you pay for you know so just know the more money you put into this um, not always but a lot of the time the more money that you put into your gear the better that your music and your sound will will sound you know it'll just sound better um, that's been my experience and um, and I've noticed that the more quality your gear and your plugins are um, you know you trust the brands these are trusted brands Xfer, Splice you know Native Instruments, Ableton these are trusted brands Apple um, they make amazing stuff SSL all of these things um, and you know if you have any questions hit me up and you already know like and subscribe I'll see you on episode 2 peace